Okay, so I'm going to solve this problem. It's uh, 2.45, number 4, uh, A and B. And there are two different situations. The first one, you're given that A is 30 newtons, and you're being asked to solve for, of course, B and W here. Okay? And then in the second case, you're supposed to rework the problem. The angles are the same, but in this time you're given that the weight is 80 newtons and you're supposed to solve for A and B. Okay? So, the again, the basis is the same. Summation of all forces along the X is equal to zero. Summation of all forces along the Y is equal to zero. And then you have AX. Uh, how is that? AX. A y this is equal to a cosine of 50 this one is a sine of 50 then BX and by okay this is equal to B cosine of 60 and B cosine of 50, okay? Oh, sorry, 60, okay? So, because this 60 is associated with B, all right? So, how do we start our solution? Well, the easiest is to start with the horizontal. Again, you have to, you have to break this up into its components here, B, Y, there, B, X, right? And then here, A, X, and there, A, Y, okay? So look at that. This is the easiest, that uh, A, X is equal to B, X. So the summation of the forces along the X is equal to zero. So we have B, X is equal to A, X. And what is uh, BX is B cosine of 60 degrees is equal to A cosine of 50 degrees. Okay, and again, if you've used it, put a box so you'll know that you're done with that and you won't reuse it because that's usually the mistake that students make. So we're solving for B. B is equal to A cosine of 50 divided by cosine of 60. Okay, and the answer to that is, I don't know, I'll have to do it. Uh, A is 30 newtons times cosine of 50, cosine of 60, all right? So, 60 cosine divided by, oh, sorry. It's 50 cosine divided by 60 cosine equals times 30 equals 38. So immediately you have um, your B is 38 newtons at 60 degrees. Okay, that's your B. And now we have to solve for W which is the summation of the forces along the y is equal to zero. And what do we have? Going up, going down is w. w is equal to, going up is by plus ay, okay? Which is equal to what? This one, a sine of 50 plus b sine of 60, okay? And then we have W is equal to what? A is 30, 30 sine of 50 plus B is now 38, 38 sine of 
60. Okay. Okay. So solve for that. Start with this 50 sine times 30 equals plus parenthesis 38 times 60 sine close parenthesis equals and the answer is W is 56 newtons okay let me write that here 56 newtons at now this is the angle has to be all the way from over here right so that's 180 minus 50 is 130 degrees okay all right so that's only the first part now you have to do the second part you have to rework the problem you can use the same formula you just change the given so you have to so this is a and now B and again the summation of forces along the X is equal to zero so ooh, I have to zoom it out zoom in zoom in no and see if we can get everything in here well anyway I will just copy from the top okay so I'm just copying this exactly you have BX is equal to AX and again B cosine of 60 is equal to A cosine of 50 and so you have um, that's one equation so B is equal to uh, a cosine of 50 over cosine of 60 okay that's equation one so continue copying you have y is equal to 0 and we have this equation which is w is equal to by plus ay and then we just copy that a sine 50 plus b sine 60 okay and then what we have to do is we have to substitute this this whole thing right because that's B so we write it there W is equal to a sine of 50 degrees plus instead of B you write that so a cosine of 50 degrees over cosine of 60 okay that's just that's just the B you have to put this also so sine of 60 degrees okay now we have to put a bracket and take out the common factor which is A so W is equal to A uh, times the sine of 50 degrees plus this one is cosine 50 degrees divided by cosine of 60 degrees times sine of 60 degrees okay and you have we okay well hopefully you caught that now we have a is equal to w over just copy all of that sine 50 degrees plus cosine 50 degrees over cosine of 60 degrees times sine of 60 wow this is all the denominator and the numerator 
is W, which is given at 80. 80 newtons is the, nu is the numerator. And this is all numbers, so let's see if we can successfully do it. Okay, I'm going to start uh, here. I'm going to do 60 sine times 50 cosine divided by 60 cosine equals plus 50 sine equals okay so this is the denominator so here's the second function 1 over that times 80 and the answer is um, 43 40 yikes 43 newtons at this is again 130 degrees okay so you write that here 43 newtons at 130 Oh, this is not 130. That's straight down. That's down. That's gravity. Okay. Okay. So looking for B, you substitute this value here, right? That's A. You substitute it here, and you'll have what? 43 newtons times cosine of. 50 over cosine of 60. Okay, so I already have it here. I'm just going to multiply this times uh, 50 cosine equals divided by 60 cosine equals. And the answer is going to be for B. B is equal to 50 5 newtons. Okay, so 55 newtons at, okay, B is 60 degrees. Okay, okay, that looks good. Hopefully.